tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Moments away, it'll be the Sacramento Kings going up against the Golden State Warriors. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. And here's a look at some numbers for Andrew Wiggins. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. So with Paul on the back, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt, with Green working at power forward. Looney out there with Wiggins, and for Sacramento, Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Fox in the backcourt with Herder to his side. And it's Barnes and at the small forward spot. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now here's Curry. Turned in an outstanding game against San Antonio. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Green against Barnes. And that one, good. Green on Green. Green's got the game going here with the first basket for the Warriors. Not easy to stop Draymond Green in that situation. Big and strong and uses his size well. Trills it from outside. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And here's Golden State. And here is Curry. Thompson outside. Fires the three. Traps in the tray. Thompson. Yeah, Thompson coming Four, right three. back in play saying, yeah, I know I play D, but I also hit threes. That's a nice response. Fox finds Herter. It's stolen by Green. Thompson, high post. Got a hand on it. Now Fox. This game out 36 points for him. And stolen by Wiggins. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. The layup off target. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the King. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And watching that, all kinds of contributions and just little things that guys were doing to chip in for that win. Thompson misses. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Barnes passes to Fox. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. And it's Fox with the jam. When the game starts to slow down for younger players, you know they're starting to feel confident about how they go about their business. Fox with a good decision there. Now here's Curry. He's as potent an offensive player as you're going to find in this league. He averages almost 30 points a game. And Brent, Steph Curry has so much love for this game. He's a true ambassador for the sport. Well, with Steph, anything that he touches seems to turn to gold. I mean, he, he loves hoops no matter what it is. Supports the women's games. He's involved with youth athletics in the Bay Area, back home in Charlotte. And this guy just loves to see the sport grow as much as he has. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And looking now at some numbers for Sabonis. He's been dominant over the last month. Fifth in field goal percentage. And such a great distributor and decision maker among the top ten in assists per game. And as you said, one of the league's top three rebounders. He has an instinct for how the shot's going to come off that rim. That's special. And the want-to to corral it. 
now. Here's Curry. Six on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot to stop the run. And it's Wiggins missing. And it's Fox with the ball for Sacramento. It's a five-point game. Green with the block. You can see Draymond Green so fired up every time he has a chance to impact the game defensively. Curry against Fox. Outside Curry. Feeds it to Green. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Yeah, I know you want to focus on the shooting with Steph, but man, he's going to make plays too. Here's Fox. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First person. They get Stephen Curry. First team. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly shooting a three point opportunity. Seven. The Kings shooting their first free throws here for the night. Two and the first one at the line is good. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it's getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. Now here's Curry. Still scoreless. Master Looney. Now Curry from outside the arc bangs home the trifecta. Curry. I mean, he's like a magician how quickly he gets that shot off. Was it ever there? Sacramento's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. Pass to Sabonis. Over Looney. Sabonis with the bucket. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Outside Curry. Green with a screen for Curry to the inside. And there's Green on the assist by Curry. Curry's got three assists now in this one. That's what happens. You play up on Curry too much, and then he finds an angle, delivers the ball. Devastating pick and roll. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Passes it to Herter. Fires the three. Another three for Sacramento. Yeah, you don't often talk about his numbers, but Herter is a very elite three-point shooter. Curry is inside. Guarded by Fox. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Fox again, Sacramento. And just a solid way to start the game. Four or five. Warriors trail by five. Now here's Curry. Here's the pass to Wiggins. Here's Curry, guarded by Fox. From deep three-point land, Looney, and the powerful one-handed slam. And Looney's a guy you can rely on on both ends of the floor. Sacramento leading by three. Outside, Fox. Shoots over Curry, and the Kings check on two more. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Curry with him. Now guarded by Fox. Back to Looney. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Sabonis. Golden State ball. Now we take a look at the 2K leaderboard to see who the best rebounders in the NBA have been over the last 10 games. In the third spot, Demonis Sabonis. When it comes to rebounding, it, it's been a stupendous stretch for him. He's been using his body and strength so effectively. Just five to shoot. Here's Wiggins. Good, and Curry Andrew gets Wiggins. the assist. 
Curry's got assist number five here tonight. Stephen Curry. So far, both teams scorching the net. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. Now Curry following De'Aaron Fox's three-point attempt. To the middle. It's tipped. Thompson against Herter. Back to Fox. Down low. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Well, Fox with the eyes and ears up that time. Good vision to facilitate. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Trailing by five. Wiggins, a screen on Fox. Pass to Thompson. Lets it go from deep. Drills the three-pointer. Thompson. Thompson's got six points. Is that the shot that gets Clay Thompson going? Most of them do. Fox inside the line. Outside for Murray. And the three ball is good. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when the man comes free on the perimeter. He got it. Went right into the shot. Curry against Fox. Inside. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Herder passes to Sabonis. Dishes it to Fox. That ball's nice speed that time from Sabonis. 15 points in the game. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Timeout called the Warriors. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball is still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Thompson outside. Pass to Payton. Kicks it out to Paul. Payton with a screen on Fox. Paul passes to Payton. Now here's Monk, the fast break chance. Fox dishes to Monk. The kick out to Fox. And the Kings check on two more. Tough matchup here, and Fox has it going right now. The lefty getting some room and making it happen. Here's Paul. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Passes it to Fox. Back to Monk. Takes it inside. Pass to Vizenko. Now, here's Monk. Just five on the clock. Here's Quarte. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Warriors trail by nine. Paul, right side. Charge outside. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Catch and shoot opportunity for Dario, and he doesn't waste it. Sacramento's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. Monk, the pass to Sabonis. Plays it up and banks it in. Sabonis has got six. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Brent, many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position, but... DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Here's Fox after the main shot from Clay Thompson. Outside, Fox. The pass to Sabonis. It's rebounded by Golden State. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure 
and that one didn't happen, and boy, they just rolled. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured yes, out the D on that night, yes, man, their offense was rolling. Fox against Paul. Pass to Monk. So bonus is screen on Thompson. Here's Monk, and it's blocked. What instincts there as Sharich is able to get in there and challenge his opponent. Just doing the job on the backboard. Ball against Fox. Now here's Paul. Defense right on him. That's a miss. His second after two shots. Kings leading now by six. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And a deep three from Fox. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups. So maybe three. just a step too far. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. A big-time effort for De'Aaron Fox, providing a lot of energy for Sacramento. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Kings. People say the mid-paint shot is dying, but so far in this one, that has not been the case for this team. The attack can come from a lot of ways, either execution or by just getting on the bounce and driving it in, and that's where they've been very effective tonight. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Kings. Their biggest lead of the game was not. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Peyton, and it's Jackson Davis in at the center position. Paul finds Curry, a three, and it's Sacramento with the rebound. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is taking his game to new heights. Coach Mike Brown says the exciting part about Foxy is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this league. His feel and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. Hey, thanks for the report. Sacramento with the ball. And for the missed three from Stephen Curry, and stolen by Peyton. Drops in the breakaway lane. And a terrific job on both ends of that sequence. Very slick steal and great transition offense. Fox against Paul. Pass to Vizenko. Here's Duarte, defended by Peyton. And it's McGee with the jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside Curry. Puts up a deep three. And a great assist Stephen by Paul Curry. as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists tonight. Fox against Paul. McGee is screen on Paul. Three-pointer, Fox. It's good. McGee's got six points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State 
Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. And, and they continue to control the glass. Fox against Paul. Fox kicks to McGee. He dishes it to Monk. Outside, Fox. Just three to shoot. Over Paul. The rebound by Payton. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Paul finds Curry. Nine feet out. The inside game of Stephen Curry. That's some classic Chris Paul in action. Reading the floor and finding the opening. against Fox. Now, here's Monk. D right on him. It's stolen by Curry. Paul with the ball. Now guarded by Fox. Paul looking around. Over in the corner, Kaminga. Good, and Paul gets Jonathan the assist. Kaminga. Paul's three. got his fifth assist in this one. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Monk. A 17-point game for him in the win against Minnesota. McGee's shot is off. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. The 11-footer. Good work defensively by Fox. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Kicks to Monk. McGee sets the pick for Monk. There's the steal. Ball against Fox. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. Passes it to Kaminga. Another three for Golden State. Well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball, looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. And I don't know if everybody's getting in this block party flow, but that's what's happening tonight. They've done a great job of being aggressive on all the shooters. Pass to Jackson Davis. Misses the three. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the back row. Here's Vazenkov. To the paint, trying to end the drought, and the slam dunk by McGee. And, and how about Mark there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammate. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Grace Jackson Davis. Here we are in November. First person See how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Look at the Kings. Solid start to the season so far. Sitting in sixth place. And of course, Golden State. They're at the 10th position. And checking out Sacramento, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they hoped they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Fox, no good. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now here's Thompson. He picked up 15 points in their last win against San Antonio. And he passed the ball so well in that game, keeping everybody involved, even as he was racking up all those points. Now Fox, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Fox passes to Barnes. Sacramento moving it around. Now, here's Sabonis. Guarded by Green. Unloads from nine. Bank shot. No good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Coaches say, G.A., the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. For any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And that's what we do in life normally, right? Now, here's Fox. 
after the miss from Stephen Kurt. Thompson against Herter. For three, Murray. Green with the block. Curry with it. He's got eight. Wiggins, a screen on Fox. Curry against Fox. Wiggins drawn the double team. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Three points. Thompson's got the lead up to two now for the Warriors. And it's Fox with the ball for Sacramento. And the pass to Herter. Murray with it. Outside, Sabonis. Pass to Herter. For three. That falls. Nice speed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got his third assist on the night. Golden State's gotten fond of that three-point shot here in the second quarter. Four of nine. And Thompson kicks to Wiggins. Sabonis with the steal. Looney with it. Sabonis defending. And then Wiggins throws it down. Assisted. Well, Looney knows his role. Good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. Fox against Curry. Now, here's Fox. He's covered closely. Sabonis, and easy two points on the lane. Sabonis has got ten points. This looks like he's got more feel tonight, like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. The three. Another three for Stephen Golden Curry. State. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. So the Kings called timeout their first. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their role, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline. And that's Steph Curry. Malik Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. For your Sacramento Kings breakers. On defense, the Warriors. He kicks to Murray. Back to Monk. Shot clock at five. The Kings need to get off a shot here. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And a solid screen. Get yourself open. It's a textbook play from Sabonis. Outside Curry. Green with a screen for Curry. Launches it from deep. Rebound by the Kings. Sabonis has got seven rebounds in the game. They're getting cold in here. This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Whole team Sabonis. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Murray, no good. The Warriors have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Curry outside. Curry! Oh, what else is new? And the three-pointers are starting to add up. That's his third of the quarter, and it brings him to four on the game. Sabonis sets the bid for Monk. Over Green. Got it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to just one on the basket for Monk. And Monk is used to that aggressive type defense, especially when he's that close to the basket. Takes pride in really taking on the teeth of the defense. Now here's Thompson. 14 points for him. They set the pick. Curry passes to Looney. And Thompson kicks to Wiggins. From past the arc. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Sabonis inside. Defended by Looney. Murray outside. Sabonis is screen on Kirk. On for three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number five here tonight. 32 seconds left in the first half of the game. Defense. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. 
So we'll see Clay Thompson go to the line here. That one on Monk. And you think about Clay Thompson's career, Brent, an incredibly resilient player. Look at all he's overcome. Now you think about those injury cards dealt out to Clay. Well, here's an ACL. Not only that, he gets the Achilles card. So he did it twice, and he continues to play at a high level. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. So, Brent, after a 16-year playoff drought, the Kings made the cut before losing a very gritty first-round matchup. What an unbelievable series, Kevin, that was against the Golden State Warriors. I mean, taking them to seven, ultimately they came up short, but they've got a ton to be excited about moving forward. Now, here's Sabonis. Outside for Murray. Fires from deep. That falls. Nice speed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Thompson. Takes the three. Thompson with the three. You guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Warriors. And it was from three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the driving kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, just trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if you can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Welcome to halftime, everybody. What a fiery first half for Clay Thompson. He's been on one, aggressive, but at the same time, under control, and no one has stopped him yet. What's incredible is his consistency. He's looked focused and out to prove something tonight. And let's take a glance at what lies ahead, a look at the upcoming schedule. Tough stretches on the road, hostile environments, but it's an opportunity to lean on each other and get through it. Yeah, these kind of challenges can bring a team closer together, you know? Especially when you band together and you pull out a win. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunity. Okay. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The Kings trail by five. Fox in the backcourt with Herder to his side. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. And it's Sabonis in at the five. That's the group for Mike Brown as we get going here in the second half. Screen by Sabonis to the inside. Fox against Wiggins. The quick look no good that time. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Fox with it. Looney on him. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Fox. And here are the Warriors now. And here is Curry. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Sinks the three-pointer. Out of their three. last five bakes, how about all five from long range? Fox passes to Herter. Back to Fox. Here's Herter. He's covered by Thompson. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. 
Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. How about Draymond rising up into the contact? He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. Averaging less than nine points a game for his career, but Draymond Green does everything else on the basketball court, Brent, and I know you admire that. Yeah, of course, the former defensive player of the year, a tremendous playmaker, but the biggest skill, Kevin, is his mouth. He is a great communicator out there to keep this team connected. He's perfect from the line this time. Yeah, what really sets Draymond apart is that tenacity. I mean, he never stops fighting you. I mean, any second he's on the floor, he's competing and he's coming at you. Up top, Sabonis. Kicks to Fox. Shot clock at six. Murray outside. Pass to Herter. Fires from way outside. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got six rebounds now in the game. To the middle. Here's Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. He's got so much vertical ability. That's easy for Wiggins. At the top of the key, he's Sabonis. The dish to Barnes. Back to Sabonis. Murray kicks to Barnes. Three-pointer, Fox. It's rebounded by Golden State. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says... The way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. Thompson. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Timeout called by the Kings. That's right, numbers for Looney. This past month, he's really set himself apart. He's putting up six points a night, nine rebounds, and two assists. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark. I feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent. His effort right now, physically and mentally, has been good. Barnes can't get it to go. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Murray finds Wiggins. Back to Curry. Green passes to Curry. Good, and it's Green Stephen picking up Curry. the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now, here's Sabonis. He's got 12. Outside for Murray. Off the mark, and the drop continues. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Wiggins against Sabonis. Wiggins passes to Looney. Sacramento grabs the miss. Now, Herter. Six points for him. Pass to Sabonis. Herter kicks to Barnes. And there's the drive. Outside for Murray. And the three off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Thompson outside. Now the pass to Curry. Green with a screen on Fox. Fires away from outside. It's rebounded by Herter. The Kings trail by 15. Outside, Fox. Pass to Sabonis. Barnes looking around. 
Fox against Curry. Nice move. Green with the rebound. Warriors leading by 15. Passes to Curry. Pass to Looney. Thompson sets the pick for Green. Connects from three-point range. Green. Green's Green got 11 points. points. And, and perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. The Kings making a switch here. Monks checked in. The Warriors also with the sub. Kaminga's checked in. The pass to Sabonis. They need this. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. Defense is always going to have trouble with Sabonis inside. He just forces mistakes. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And, and let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. And statistically, more young players in the league today, Greg, than in decades past. Might be a reason the age limit wasn't lowered in this new CBA. Yeah, I mean, the veterans saying, hey, we're already having a tough time sticking around. And I think having those guys helps on and off the court. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. Now here's Curry. He's got 20. Thompson for three. Monk grabs the board. Pass to Herter. And the layup is good. Herter's got eight points. Herter making it look easy that time on the pick and roll as the off guard. Curry passes to Looney. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Now here's Kaminga. He's covered by Murray. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. Andrew it's Wiggins. in coming off the assist from Thompson. He's got nine. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Monk against Thompson. Passes it to Murray. Count that one. If you leave someone open on a team with Sabonis having the ball, he's going to make you pay. That's great recognition. Here's Golden State. They're on an 18-6 run. There's a good screen. It's Curry outside. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Back to Fox. Hands it from downtown. Fox has got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Outside Curry. Shoots the three. Rebound by Murray. The Kings trail by 12. Now, here's Monk. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Back to Wiggins. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 11 points for Andrew Wiggins. Stephen Curry. Nice play from Andrew Wiggins. That's a strong move in the face of some pretty good D. Pass to Sabonis. Full team Sabonis. The pass to Monk. Starting to play.
play a little bit angry right now. And that's helping this defense be more aggressive. Pass to Wiggins. Looney kicks to Thompson. Kaminga dishes to Curry. Trains the three-pointer. Stephen Curry. Curry's got 23 Four, points. Three. Well, he should be playing this game with an apron on because he's cooking right now. Curry against Fox. Knocks it loose. And here we go. Wiggins heading to the hoop. And Wiggins anticipated that one. He saw the foul coming. He made sure to get that one off. The Warriors shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Andrew Wiggins taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. As steady as Wiggins is across the board, it's his free throw percentage over the years that hasn't reflected really how good a shooter he is. The Warriors making a switch here. Paul's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Mitchell. He averages about uh, five points a game. Is it to Sabonis? Dishes it to Monk. Shot to stop the run. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got assist number seven for him tonight. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Thompson outside. Three pointer. Hits the three point bomb. Thompson. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now, here's Sabonis. 14 points for him. The shot by Monk is no good. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. Thompson finds Paul. Wiggins. A second-chance effort. He takes it up and lays Andrew it in. Wiggins. Wiggins has got 15 points. And, man, I love it when Wiggins gets vertical. Such an impressive athlete. And there's the pass to Mitchell. And he gets the basket. Officials pouring the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Defensive and that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Sacramento making a switch here. Isles checked in. Then for the Warriors, Sharch has checked in for Looney, and it's Peyton in for Andrew Wiggins. And Mitchell, no good on that one. Warriors leading by 19. Paul passes to Kaminga. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Pass to Sabonis. King's moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Back to Monk. Pass to Lyles. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And Paul Chris gets Paul. it to go in. And Chris Paul loves the mid-range looks such an important part of his game. On the wing, Mitchell. Defended by Paul. There's a bonus. Mitchell against Thompson. Pulls up on the wing. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. Thompson passes to Sharich. Kicks it out to Paul. The last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Oh, this play, your cutting is awesome. Your movement without the ball is brilliant. Great stuff. Good to hear that complimenting the motion. Steve Kerr likes this offense and how it's running right now. And when the players and the ball never seem to stop, it really prevents a defense from getting set and digging in. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Gary Payton II is out there with Kaminga. And it's Sharch in at the center, locking down the middle. That one goes Jonathan in. Kaminga. Kaminga's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Warriors. Fox against Paul. And he drives in. Passed it to Orte. Edwards uh, screen on Peyton. Forte shot good. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Fox against Paul. Outside Curry. Here's the three, and a great assist by Stephen Paul Curry. as that one goes in. Three points. Paul's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. McGee up top. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Hey, Brent, in general, as we widen the lens here, what do you think current NBA teams could do better? Well, it's going to be interesting, Kevin, to see how with the defensive three-second rule sort of disappearing, how many more coaches are able to implement combinations of zone defenses they're going to take away what it is that a team likes to do in the half court of their execution. Along with that, certainly clock management and timeouts, maybe more usage of their actual roster going a little bit deeper during the regular season to explore those kind of tactics. And don't forget about all those experiments. They could happen in the G League as well. Good on the second free throw. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Paul with the ball. Outside Curry. Puts up a three. And it's Vazenkov with the rebound. The Kings trail by 20. Fox the bounce pass. Now the feed to McGee. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Now here's Curry, and he's good Seven on the three ball. Curry. Curry's got six in the quarter. I mean, <laughs> this guy is unreal. What a show. There's the pass to McGee. Back to Monk. Pass to Orte. Over Peyton. It's rebounded by Curry. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Paul for three. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. McGee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Now, here's Fox. McGee is screen on Paul. Fox finds McGee. Gee, is it me or does it feel like we've had more parity in the First league the last few seasons? Well, Kevin, the playoffs have been pretty hard to predict lately. Yeah, I will give you that. There's been only one repeat champion in the past decade. It's a competitive league. That's good from McGee. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Sacramento. Andrew Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And how about Kaminga, one of just a handful of NBA players from Congo? Hey, Greg, those players from the Congo, they have achieved some of the highest level of recognition in our league. NBA champions, Hall of Famer. Stephen the Curry. player list is short, but boy, they're distinguished. This is just not a surprise. Steph Curry is having a massive offensive game. 
Here's Herter. And he gets the bucket. And the he had no answer for that move. Beautifully done. Easy layup. Curry passes to Kaminga. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. The Kings trail by 21. Outside, Fox. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a floor general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guard? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doxich, Morant. And, of course, CP3 is still going. The Kings have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Inside, here's McCollum. Oh. Oh. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Warriors leading by 17. Here's Curry. Paul outside. Curry setting the pick for Paul. Curry is inside. Out defending. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Paul. Chris Paul. 34 points for Stephen Curry. Fox against Paul. Fox kicks to Herter. From deep. And another three for Sacramento. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Fox against Paul. Outside curve. Looking for Kaminga. He gets it there. Well, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. And it's McGee with the jam. Really, he's improving so much in his decision-making and delivering passes. Golden State's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Passes it to Kirby. Puts up on deep three. Sacramento grabs the miss. McGee's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Fox. Warriors with the rebound. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Right side, Curry. They double-team Curry. Here's Wiggins. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got seven rebounds in the game. The wide-open look here for Fox. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive Andrew possession. Williams. They found the look that they wanted, Assist just from. didn't go in. Stephen wow, Curry. as he flipped a switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Just killing it from deep. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch. And you're just asking for him to drop another triple. On. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. The free throw off from Herter. Herter doesn't get a lot of these freebies, but this guy can do so many other things on the floor for your team. Unwilling to let up, even Green for a Green. moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Fox kicks to Sabonis. Pass to Herter. Pocket six. 
blocking foul. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Defensive foul. Kevon Looney. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Kevin Herter. One shot. Free throw good. Herter. And here is Curry. Green with a screen on Fox. Curry outside. It's good from long range. Curry's got 37. Steph's such an ideal pick and roll guy. The threat of the long ball always there. So whether he's shooting or passing, the defense has a hard time keeping up. Now here's Herter. Here's a bonus. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Third personal and you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. For Sacramento. Delonte Sabonis. Two shots. Free throw good, Sabonis. Well, Sabonis is an unselfish player. You can see it in the actions out there on the floor. He's trying to get the best out of both himself and his teammates. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. He dishes it to Thompson. Thompson is double. And the wide open shot from Green. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Golden State moving it around. Down low. Looney passes to Thompson. It's Curry outside. That's it. Stephen Coming Curry. off the assist from Thompson. Four, three. Thompson's got his third assist on the night. The Kings trail by 17. The pass to Sabonis. Double team Sabonis. Herter on the wing. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Herter's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Kings. Fox against Curry. Wiggins passes to Looney. Outside Curry. They double team Curry. Thompson from long range. Another three for Golden State. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. And here is Fox after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. From deep, Herter, another three for Sacramento. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Warriors leading by 14. Curry kicks to Green. Back to Curry. They double team Curry. Takes a three. And Wiggins gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Wiggins has got 16 here in the second half. Here's Fox. to Sabonis. Double team Sabonis. To the paint. Curry with the steal. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 157 left in the fourth. Higgins outside. Can't throw down the putback. The Kings trail by 17. Here's Herter, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Well, it's a pretty easy opportunity for a teammate, all courtesy of Harrison Barnes. Curry against Fox. Wiggins, that's a screen for Curry. Passes it to Thompson. Thompson is double. From deep green, that's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Three points. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. 
and this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Warriors. In times this season, turnovers have cost them, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Stephen Curry. And serving up feeds all night long. He was the best teammate that they had on the floor. Now Fox, following the miss by Draymond Green from deep. Sabonis with the bucket. Huh. It's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little Stephen bit. Curry. And that one, good. And they came Draymond in determined Green. to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Back to Murray. Murray sets a screen for Sabonis. Outside for Murray, five to shoot, jacks up a three, and another three for Sacramento. Early on in his NBA career, Murray's showing he's a capable shooter. Now Curry. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. That's they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. Everyone. And Kevin, it's about the mental event. toughness Please. that this group yeah, showed. They, they were never yes. rattled at city. all by the opposing fans. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball's just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always.